Legend of Total War here, and today we're making a last stand as Ireland up against England. So, the army strength ratio is 1 to 2, but they've actually got a very professional army that's going to be quite difficult to break, whereas our army here is not suitable for a defensive siege. It's definitely suitable for a field battle, and that's where we need to take it to, the, take it to them. Now, these Yeoman archers are pretty damn good units, and they're, uh, they're essentially like crossbows that can shoot really fast. So they're quite dangerous. Anyway, let's go in there and lift this siege. Definitely not going to be as difficult as the, um, the Western Roman Empire one. So I'm not anticipating beat on this. But it's still not an easy one. You can't just be like, oh, just use cavalry and win. Not so simple, just due to the army type. Also, we can't re really rely too much on the towers. Now... We don't have many infantry, so that doesn't help. Because it actually would be good if we had some more... You know, we can't rely on the towers, and we, it's all down to the general's bodyguard. Luckily, they're a good unit, so should be okay. But these Yeoman archers, man. I know what they can do. I've played as England before. The Yeoman archers and retinue longbowmen... They rip to shred the Mongols. Absolutely rip them to shreds. Yeah, the Mongols are the best cavalry in the game. Arguably. Alright, so they've got the catapults coming out. Okay, that's kind of good because once they're inside the city, we, we can't fight them properly unless, unless they're going to rout. And these guys all have high morale. So, I'm going to take these two around this side here. We're going to try and take out their Yeoman archers first. You guys come around this side. It'll take them some time to knock down the walls, and they may derp out even while doing it. But yeah, well, the plan here, take out the enemy archers, then take out the enemy general, and then piece by piece take out their infantry. That's how we're going to do this. But we're not going to walk out of this this first one here without quite a few casualties, because if, like, if, just have a look at human archers. Oh, we're not close enough to them, so have a look. They're actually decent in melee as well. And also, after we've defeated them, we're going to be fairly tired. Because we have to run around quite a bit to get there. Mm, probably don't need to go that wide, get around over here. They're long range missile units, so we've got to stay well out of range while we get into position. So they've started shooting. It will take... It'll take 34 shots before they can break through this. You might as well not stand there. Maybe more than that then. Alright. You go charging in this way. Come in here. You charge there. This is a stroke of fortune. Since they're moving forward, they're not able to shoot. Allowing us to close in on them without, you know, without losing, I don't know, 10 men upon the approach. Yeah, they, they're stopping. But just that little bit of extra time might have been all we needed to really make a difference. Like, you can see, they're ripping us to shreds. These aren't peasant archers. They can really do a number on you. Look at that, he's already lost most of his units. Go on. How are they going with this? 12%, okay. He's lost nearly half of his unit there. Fucking hell. That's what I was saying. The, these archers, they're, they're powerful. Yeah. I want them to withdraw that way. Okay. At least they're all at the moment locked in combat. No one's able to shoot. I want you to charge into the rear of this one here. But you got to get into position. Actually, hit this one here. 
Because you're already, you're already further, far enough away to just... They're just about to break anyway. They're, okay, there we go. 15 men left out of 70. This is just a phase one. Sometimes it's just better if you give them individual orders as opposed to group orders. Twenty-four to twenty-eight percent. So we didn't even really get the better of him in that situation by very much. There's only seven of them left. Get back over here. Everyone, get to the back of the red line here. Like I said, that was that's the most dangerous of what we had to deal with. And we haven't really probably dealt with them yet anyway. be the end of their human archers. There's, yeah, those guys aren't going to come back. Their, their catapults gave up on it. Okay, so that bit's done. How many men have we got left? We've still got about 100 generals bodyguard in total, but they're tired now. They're actually exhausted. And our, our king is in bad shape. We really shouldn't have him fight anymore. Well, at least not against this. Okay, there's no time to rest. So you're just going to have to charge in there, unfortunately. We've got to kill the enemy general. So here's the plan at this point. We charge into his, into his rear, kill his rear guard, come back over here, bring, bring him over to here, and then finish him off with these guys. And then we could hopefully take out these ones here relatively easily. But we couldn't go after him while those archers were there. He's probably going to die in this. No, he, he might make it out. Okay, like I said, we just want to get their attention. Because in a straight up brawl, they're, they're just too tired. Just get his attention. That's it. Get him away from these guys here. Big downside is being exhausted, there's, but there's no time to rest. They need like half an hour to get back to fresh. We don't have that kind of time. Might kill him. I didn't check how much dread he may have. He may, he may be chivalrous. Oh my god, being exhausted really hurts in this one. I may actually need him to fight. Like he's just ripping through us. Even though we outnumber him. Changes in the course of battle, but and have him surrounded. He's just ripping through us. Could make all the difference. The okay, that's good. Our men have slain the enemy general. Still gonna get rid of those bodies. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. Good, 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 good. All right, that didn't go well. I mean, look at that, 43 to 31. But that is the hard part dealt with. Okay, the worst of it's now over. Unfortunately, we're not left with much to deal with the rest of them. Okay, they shouldn't come back. Now there's there's no hope of getting our fatigue back, it's just not gonna happen. Oh my god, we just don't have much left. Now we gotta start picking these guys apart one at a time. So 
this one here first. No, 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 no. If they charge head on into that, that's not good. You want to essentially get two rear charges. So you want the rear charge to hit first, and then these guys, when they turn around, essentially hit the rear. Man, I mean, they won, but them being exhausted, it really is it's hurting them. Quite a few of them died on that. They just, but defeat seems almost certain. I might have to give this a rest. This isn't gonna work. They're just too tired. Now, these aren't spear militia. The charging into these guys actually hurts. Alright, and I think we should charge into those catapults and begin the let them begin the assault. That way we can utilize the towers a bit now. Let me just see if any of my generals are dead. He's alive. He's still alive. He's still alive. He's still alive and still alive. All five are alive still. Good. Okay, so that, that begins the, you know, the proper assault. They failed to capture the... Uh, to knock down the walls. I think we don't want the ram to get there. So we may have to sacrifice this guy here to charge into the ram when the time comes. We'll charge in from this side here. Let them come up the la just the ladders, not the siege tower. And it's gonna arrive over here. And we need the towers to now do some of the work. Don't have time for a rest. It's good. Most of them are firing reasonably well there. And these Maria, or however they pronounce, I think they've got two hit points. Yeah, so they they should be able to do reasonably well against these armored sergeants. The enemy have ladders at the wall. So okay if they get the Repel ramp to the, the tower, uh, give to, them to steel. the wall. You come round over here, you'll charge into this under swordsman in the flank. Kinda of well protected. There we go, they they don't move in that close, that's what I was waiting for. Probably going to die. Maybe not, maybe not. Come on, get out, get out, get out. Awful charge. Come on, get out, get out. You just need to get them off the ram. Now they go get the other one. Good. Broken unit. Oh shit, you didn't get off the ram. The enemy are battering down our gates. Yeah, they bring another guy over here to get the, the siege tower. How are we going now? 47 to 52. So we're technically kind of winning, but we have to consider the fact that um, we've lost most of our best units and most of our shit units are still here. Actually, all of our shit units. But good, now they're all coming up the wall here. That's kind of what we want to see. Now if we charge in there, we might just be able to break them. Get them to all to break all at once. So I'm going to need you to use Flaming Shot. Every bit of morale damage counts. You just hold the line there. Come on, 
arms, my lord. The enemy's ram has breached the gates. Yeah, but they're going up the wall. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. Look how our cowardly foe runs. It is time to press the attack. When a plan comes together and you th you're thinking, oh man, I don't know about this, and then you're like, here's our chance. Boom. We just had to get them all together. We had to, like I said, had to get rid of the archers. Had to kill the enemy general. Had to make sure they all funnel into one spot and then hit them in the ass. Nobody died. No generals died this day. I mean, they will if they fight to the death over here. Stop firing. Says 87%, but I don't know if that's... Let me just check if anyone actually died. He's still alive. I know you're still alive. Yep. Yep. You're still alive because you haven't lost any men. You're still alive, and the king's still alive. And at the beginning of the next turn, your um, most of these guys will have rec well, actually, they'll recover a lot of their, their casualties. Alright. That was a tough one. Don't remember, that was a tough one. And what made this battle tough was the human archers. By far the worst thing we have to deal with here. So yeah, if you're ever playing in a hot seat, and manual battles are allowed, and you're playing as England, if I could, and you're besieging a settlement, put your and archers in there. Very specific set of circumstances there. Because that wasn't easy. But like I said, wasn't as difficult as the other one, I mean. We could have afforded to lose a general or two if we absolutely had to. And these guys here, you know, they, they did well. Like, really fucking well there. So I'm very impressed with those guys. Anyway. The enemy are utterly vanquished. 10 to 1 kill this ratio. But essentially, victory. all of Wonder our casualties were generals, bodyguards. Generals. Bodyguards, so nobody died, really. So we'll see what it's like at the beginning of the next turn. We're not, we're not obviously continuing on the campaign. I'm sure, oh no. Let us live, sire. Please. Nah. Ah! Oh, come on. Did you really think I'd let them live? Damn, you get another one. Now you got six. I didn't really get six. You've only got one city. Oh, I guess you did have a woman. Well, there you go. There you go. I mean, there's not too many defenders, uh, not too many attackers at this, well, what's good, English, Englishmen out here. You should be able to continue on your campaign with that. So not only did we save, you know, save the city, um, but like I said, they're all in good shape. You can continue on your attack now. You don't need me to save your disaster campaign now. Go out and attack them. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Don't forget, guys, the link, uh, the link to the Google Drive where you can find this save file is in the description. So if you want to give it a go, feel free to do so, and that way you'll understand how tough this battle was, or maybe you'll maybe you'll absolutely cream it. Um, happy for you guys to send me uh, video clips of you doing so. Anyway, I'll see you next time, fuckers.